<laughs> Helpless and anxious. These families say their relatives have been trapped in an underground mine for days without food or water. Dozens of workers managed to get out, but were arrested. They're accused of operating illegally in Ghana's gold mining town of Obwazi. The relatives say police are asking for cash to release them. It's unclear whether those still underground are unable to get out or are reluctant to through fear of an arrest. <laughs> My husband is among the trapped. There's no other job for us here, so we depend on the mining industry to make a living. We're illiterate and can't work anywhere else. They've been underground for days and a week. They're dying. We need help. We don't have the $2,700 they're demanding for each of those arrested. Anger has now led to protests outside a local police station, and soldiers have been deployed to the area. Families want those arrested to be released, and those underground to be helped out without fear of punishment. We can hear them scream underground. They're dying. This is our land and our resources, but we don't see any of the benefits. Times are hard. What's wrong with people going to work to try and make ends meet? The owner of the mine, Anglo Gold, says it's aware of reports alleging illegal miners may have been trapped in its mine. But it says they are not confined in any way, and the main exit is open. About one million people are employed in Ghana's mining industry. Rising unemployment has led to an increase in people turning to mining. Many operate illegally. Ghana's president, Nana Akufu-Addo, has launched crackdowns on such activities for years. Families insist the threat of an arrest adds insult to injury. And illegal or not, they say their relatives don't deserve to die for trying to make a living. Yeah, <laughs> Katia Lopez-Odoyan, Al Jazeera.